Hi, I'm Andrew Klobuchar for NJIT. This video is designed to introduce an exciting research project about the assessment of writing ability. The project, a combined effort of New Jersey Institute of Technology and the Educational Testing Service, is being launched in the fall of 2009. We want to tell you about the background of the project, setting the stage by telling you about why we believe that writing is so important to your success at NJIT. We will tell you about our locally developed methods and the exciting possibilities offered by automated assessment. We'll then review the process of submitting the essay and we'll close by telling you what we hope to discover. The research collaboration between NGIT and ETS has been long, dating back over 30 years to a project called the New Jersey Basic Skills Placement Test. That project, coordinated by ETS for the state of New Jersey, sought to help public post-secondary institutions place students in the mathematics, reading, and writing courses that were best for them. Today, that research tradition continues with the present project, an exploration of a way to use automated assessment techniques to learn more about the writing ability of students so that the very best instruction can be brought in the most tailored way to the student. At NGIT, we have a very defined view of the importance of writing ability for students. For writing, you see, is an act of thinking. In other words, a way of organizing and analyzing information as well as articulating it. It is a process that both helps you clarify your ideas and express them more precisely, regardless of circumstance. From the essays you write in first year composition to the lab reports you prepare in physics, from the brief Twitter messages you post to your friends to the electronic portfolios you use to display your abilities for employers. So the more experiences you have across contexts, the better. Why? Because writing improves with practice. A craft, writing remains thus one of the cornerstones of your success, both now and in the future. Now, at NGIT, we regularly assess student writing ability in all of our humanities courses. In fact, it is a university requirement that all students enrolled in humanities courses keep a course portfolio. Each semester, we take a sample of those portfolios and evaluate them in order to make sure we are providing the very best instruction that we can to students. If we find that key areas of instruction are not finding their ways into student writing, we then put additional effort into our classes to make certain that next semester we can measure areas of improvement. Now along with our locally based assessment procedures, we are interested as New Jersey's Science and Technology University in how automated assessment might help us increase our student-centered efforts. It takes literally days to score portfolios. However, if a student submits an automated essay, she can get instantaneous feedback on her work. Would it be possible, we wonder, to study the relationship between this ETS system and our NJIT system? Could we find a place, find a way to place students more accurately with an automated assessment? And could we then use that assessment for further instructional purposes? we decided to find out. In the very first weeks this fall, we are asking all NGIT first-year students to submit two 30-minute writing samples. Some students will meet in NGIT computer labs, and others will be asked to take the assessment on their own. In both cases, students will be operating, as they do in all testing conditions at NGIT, to work within the framework of our university code on academic integrity. In this case, this means that you will work only within the computer platform, planning, composing, reviewing, and submitting your essays without the use of any help or word processing software. In order to investigate the power of the automated assessment for NGIT students, we need them to do their work by themselves within the computer-based platform called Criterion. This is Norbert Elliott, and I'll be taking you through this part of the video. I want to take you through the steps, beginning with registration.
Now this part of the video is aimed at our first year students, so we'll address them directly. You'll begin by launching your browser and going directly to criterion.ets.org. Then click on the Go to Criterion Student website. And from there, you'll click Register. You'll then enter your class ID that will be assigned to you and your access password. You'll then be asked to put in your username and password, and you'll be asked to retype the password. You'll then put in your first name, middle initial, your last name, and your email address so that we can get in touch with you later. After you register, you'll then see two essay topics. Select one of the topics and begin. You'll have 30 minutes to work on each essay and the software will prevent you from further work after that time. So you want to work efficiently within the time constraints. In this particular simulation, we've selected a topic about educational software. You have been contacted, the topic tells us, by a computer software company to come up with an idea for a computer game that is fun and teaches an important skill. Describe what kind of game you would design, including the skills that the game teaches. Include details about how the game would be played, what it would look like, and what players would learn along the way. To begin, you'll be invited within the Criterion system to plan your essay by using one of the planning templates provided. You can then select any of the planning tools to help you think through your essay. Do be mindful, however, not to take any more than 10 minutes on this part of the topic. It is the essay that most counts in this experiment. You'll then begin to compose your essay. In this sample, a student has imagined a video game that will help users learn more about library research skills, both in the stacks and on the web. The video game, the student writes, will be based on the novel in the film The Name of the Rose, a medieval murder mystery set in a monastery. We want you to keystroke your essay directly into the computer platform. Only in that way will we be able to understand how the system is working as it responds to your writing. As you check the time on the computer screen provided within the system, be sure to allow time for revising your essay. When typing directly into the Criterion system, please be sure to click Save and keep writing at regular intervals so that you don't lose any of your work. The system even provides a spell check that will allow you to make the final edits on your work. As you can see here, the student misspelled the word monastery, and the computer has asked her to change the spelling. When you are finished, save your work, click the button, and submit your essay. The computer program will then bring you directly back to the home page, where you'll then begin your second essay. You will then plan, compose, revise, and submit your second essay. And you have completed both essays, simply log out of the system. What do we hope to gain by studying your two writing submissions? We hope to identify more ways to help you continue to improve your writing ability. To do that, we need to learn more about your writing in the ways that it may be more efficiently assessed within the ETS computer platform. As we learn more about the potential of the automated system, we can then enhance the connections between teaching and assessing writing here at NJIT. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact any of us. Andrew Klobuchar, Norbert Elliott, Carol Johnson, or Fadi P. Deek, the NGIT research team. We very much look forward to conducting this important research, and we're thankful of the support of our ETS colleagues and our NGIT administrators, instructors, and students. As far as the results, stay tuned to the NGIT YouTube site. We promise to keep you posted as our collaborative research progresses.